freaking loud. It's so loud here. Let's see if I can connect. I hope that works without stopping the video and redoing it. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I was just thinking of... <laughs> Dude, and I forgot. I need my medicine. I have a thyroid thing condition that if I don't take my medicine, then I get really forgetful of everything. I can't think of, I can't concentrate well without it. So, and I'm going to the doctor today to get it refilled because they they require me to go and visit to get the refill. So you know how it is. How they want your money or the insurance money. Um, oh yeah, I was just thinking about a narcissist, okay? I don't know if this is for everybody, but I noticed that kids that grew up in religious backgrounds, like, you know, like Christian uh, backgrounds, like Catholic or whatever, Pentecostal, um, you know, like like church had a heavy influence in their life. On top of being abused as a child and being involved in the church at a young age, I think is a reason maybe why some people that are some kids that were abused become more of a narcissist than a let's say borderline or whatever because the God concept of there's this all powerful being right and um, you know you have to obey all these rules and laws and then they give you this uh, fear of death and hell and stuff and how you have to be respectful towards your elders and um, just basically you're nothing and everyone that's bigger than you is something and you have to obey them and you're just there to kind of like serve and um, obey. So I think already I think the, the, the religious community is a uh, man-made um, societal um, construct, construction and constriction of personal growth because uh, it, it teaches you how to obey society and be a worker and a slave for the uh, the powers that be or the you know the more fortunate wealthier people that run the run the whole society and uh, religious uh, institutions. That's what I believe. I do not. Uh, I did not. Another thing is I was not raised on religion, right? I mean, my dad, my dad, before my mom left my dad, uh, when I was like nine, ten years old, my dad was always talking about religion, trying to put me into Sunday school. I, I, I've been in Sunday school a few times. You know, the, the overall experiences was fine. It was like, you know, very welcoming and, um but kind of had a fake weird feel about it it's like you know here you are throw yourself into this group of people you don't know and you're supposed to be nice to them and welcoming to them and it's because somebody's watching over your shoulder to make sure you you are <laughs> because somebody's watching over your shoulder to make sure you're behaving you know what i'm saying so if you're a child that's being abused at home and you go to a uh, religious setting uh, weekly, like Sunday school or uh, Bible study, whatever, on a regular basis with that same parents, those same parents that are abusive, that's where the narcissist comes in. You know, because there's, a, there's, there's this, this creation of the false self, which is godlike. And where does the godlike concept come from to begin with, right? So that's what I think. I think that a lot of narcissists 
or a narcissist when, uh, in my opinion all the narcissists I've ever met or been involved with or have in my family are highly religious or they're no longer religious but they grew up religious or they had like a say um, they were Catholic so they had confirmation communion and uh, and, and, and etc right like my mom she was um, she was um, uh, involved in the church she had confirmation communion all of that Catholic Catholic I think is the most destructive of all of them but anyhow um but you know so so yeah and and my dad also he grew up in the church he uh, these people and then they think they're they think they're doing good yet they are disturbed like they are disordered you know they're they're sick this is the reason why a narcissist is a narcissist because they grew up with the belief that this is a good thing that they are the way they are and they have to feel fear some kind of god higher than them and they internalize that as themselves and uh, that's where the false self comes from the idea of having any kind of god at all drilled into your head from a young child uh Religion is extremely dangerous, in my opinion, and it creates disordered people and personality disorders and violence. That's what my opinion is on it, and I've done m much research on religions because at one time I was religious, you know, because I was in such a horrible way that I didn't know what else to, who else to turn to because I never had a family that, that was there for me and supportive. You know, they would just say, oh, pray to God, pray to God. Oh, God will help you. It's like a cop-out for doing anything in life and having any accountability. So there you go, accountability. They don't learn that because of this fucking religious teachings and, and doctrine. And, and, and I'm just... Like, if people sat down and thought about things from their own point of view and uh, research things... You know, not believe everything everyone tells you. They'll come to the same conclusion that religion is a cult, and and it's created to control the masses and to create slaves and dumb down pop the population, not have anybody live up to their full potentials or creativity, and it just so it can run like an assembly line for the most powerful. So the most powerful cannot do any work, cannot have to get their fingers dirty, and that goes to those people that are the followers and the sheep. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this, this is what this fucking is. And I know so many people that's been indoctrinated and became to be something wrong with their personalities, okay? Now me... I, I I could easily have become a narcissist, I think, if I was put into the church setting. I, I really believe if I would have stayed with my dad, I would have been a narcissist, possibly even very successful because of my talents. So, so now I'm kind of envious of the narcissist in a way. So I do envy them because uh, they, they, they don't care. They go through life just bulldozing through and getting to their goals. You know what I'm saying? Like so, so th that adaptation is is profitable and uh, productive in the society we're in. So there's no way that narcissism is gonna be a, be a big deal for anyone to try to cure. Cause nobody has uh, nobody benefits from trying to cure narcissism in, in in the society as a whole. It's not gonna happen. It's just gonna get worse and worse and more powerful. It'll gain more power. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I wasn't involved in the church, but since I was abused child and if I had that teaching and do, indoctrination of religion, I would have became a narcissist, maybe a psychopath, but, um, I really think so. I really, really, really believe that. And because I was abused and not put into those religious situations, I and kind of saw religion from afar and what it does to people, it, it, it put me more into a borderline than a narcissist. I don't know if that makes sense. Because borderline or narcissist is kind of determined in your infancy. 
But then again, we don't have proof of this. You know what I'm saying? But um, again, I, I think that comes into play here. I, I really believe it's part of that brain damage or uh, stunted emotional development in the in the child in the baby years. But it also has to do with your upbringing and surroundings as well, and teachings from your parents or or significant others. So and caregivers and damn it, I went the wrong way. I just I think that people should look into that as well because religion is a big narcissistic community there that that praising a god and uh you know blind faith and all that and just like worshiping every week it doesn't sit well with me never has and um and and all the people that i know that are highly religious are very abusive sick people and um some of them are not abusive but they're very sick and meek and uh and and they think they are useless and they think that they're just there to be used by other other more powerful people because they praise a powerful god right so this is this might offend religious people but i really do not care because you know what nobody listens to my opinions you know in real life because you can't discuss taboo things like that but since politics and religion was usually off the table for many centuries decades whatever and now we've been opening up big time with the uh, politics. Politics is just like open reign, like everyone talks about it. So what about religion now? We really gotta get to the to get to the uh, get to the bones and meat of all of this the situation. That oh, why we have such evil and 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 poverty and. and and the violence and all that in our society is because of these two things uh, for the most part. Let me see if my car turns. Okay. It's turning now. Did you get there? Um, it usually wouldn't make that turn. It would just black up and now it's okay. But I still gotta get something else fixed on my car. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, religion plays a big role on what kind of personality disorder you're going to develop. I believe that now. Now, no one's talking about this, but but it just came to me. Like, yeah, my husband, he was raised on a, oh, I got to go to church every Sunday, church every Sunday. But he's get, getting his ass beat with, 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 uh, with, with electrical wires at home you know what i'm saying like that's something fucked up in your head you get fucked up badly and he's still to this day another thing about the narcissist is their denial of abuse that's how you could tell they're a narcissist too like oh they think that this is an okay way to be brought up by being in this indoctrination getting abused uh, not seeing the the contradictions there on what love is supposed to be like, if you love your children, you're not going to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is where this narcissist, and it's it's big. It's big in our community. Narcissist, the personality disorder, is a lot higher than y'all want to admit to, okay? Because this is a severe problem from when this these people are children. And, and because people can just have kids like oh you know just because they want to have kids which i don't agree with which i believe you should be certified to have any child i'm sorry if that sounds tyrannical but you know what that saves communities and people in the end it, it it's going to protect us as a species because look at what's going on now because you're just allowing anybody to breed and then and not only that you're not only allowing anybody to breed you're allowing these people to abuse the children without any monitoring you're nobody's monitor it's not like we we can really monitor a personal space of somebody but you know people are abusing children from when they were first born to whatever age toddler age infant age teenage age at any point in time they can abuse the child and nobody knows about it nobody steps in and um you know that's another issue that i think has 
comes into play here with developing of personality disorders. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say about um about religion and narcissism in the link. So, thank you very much for listening. I hope everyone is doing well and taking care. Please subscribe to my channel and comment to encourage me to make more of these videos. It helps me as a therapeutic and also to help other people to let them know that they're not alone with the, the, the things that are going on in their lives that people don't like to talk about. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for listening, guys. Okay, bye.